Hi everyone! So today I thought I would do my top 10 favourite lipsticks. So I took to my lipstick collection. I had like gotten rid of quite a lot of my lipsticks recently so it was quite easy just to pick my top 10 because I have a quite a limited um, collection now at the minute. So I thought I'd let you see what are my favourite my favourite lipsticks. So I'll st I have them sort of like categorised into three different things. So I have like my nudes um, or pale pinks. Um, I have my general pinks and then I have my dark reds, sort of more autumn winter uh, type lipsticks. So I'll start with the, the nudie coloured ones. So the first one is my L'Oreal um, Colour Rich. I don't know. It's got an E in the end so it's not exactly rich. Um, J Lo's nude. So this is it here. I absolutely love this lipstick. Um, L'Oreal have brought out a range of different celebrities lipsticks. Um, so this was one of the first ones that I picked up and it smells amazing. It almost smells like like baby powder. I want to say it smells like baby powder. Um, but that is what it looks like. I hope you can see that. Um, so it's more of a a nudie pink than, than a pink. Then the next one that I have is one of the new Kate um, Rimmel ones. Um, so there's a range of six, I think it's six like rose gold ones. So I picked this one up. This is number 54 Rock and Roll Nude. And this also smells amazing. So this is what this one looks like. And it smells really sweet. It's like, like fruity almost. Um, but that's the one I have on today at the minute. So that is what this one looks like. So it's this one here, the second one down. Um, so I really like it. Um, so those are the only two nudes that are my favourite at the minute. Um, I'll move on now to the pink ones. So this is probably one of the first lipsticks I bought myself. It's probably ruined now. Um, I actually bought this for my graduation and it is an Estee Lauder one um, and it's called Pink Parfait and it's a shimmery one. So the other two are fairly fairly matte like um, whereas this one's a shimmer one and I absolutely love this one. Um, doesn't really have a smell but it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so it looks like that. I've ruined it. Look at that. Look at the shape of that for a lipstick. And it's probably bent too. So, um, that is what this one looks like. So it's the third one down. Um, this one holds sort of a significant smell life because it was for my graduation. So I like that one. Then I've got the only other pink one that I like, which is a number seven one. And it is called cameo. So again no smell but meh. So that is what this one looks like. So it's slightly more pink than the Estee Lauder one. So I don't really have too many pinks. I tend to either be a nude person or a red person. So but I thought just for sort of having a range of different colours. I'll show you the two pink ones that I absolutely love. And all the ones that I've been shown reasonably, um, aside from the Estee Lauder one, are all reasonably priced. Like the Kate Moss one and the, the L'Oreal one are like 6 50 I think. No more than 6 50 anyway. No idea how much the number seven one was, but I, like, I'd say maybe six or seven pounds for that one. The Estee Lauder one I bought, how long have I been graduated? Two years? Two years I think. So this is two years old but I absolutely love one and I can't get rid of it. I just I just can't get rid of it. So that one's slightly more pricey. Then um, on to my reds. Um, so I have six of them. I have a slight, slight problem with dark lipsticks. Um, so the first one is the other one of the, the Kate Moss ones that I have. Um, in the rose gold range. 
so these are only fairly recent released and this one is number 53 retro red um look look at that it's so gorgeous i cannot wait to wear this um come autumn winter time so see my hand's gonna look lovely after this so that is this one here it is absolutely gorgeous it's very berry toned very berry I went around and again that also smells really really good so definitely going to be a, a firm favorite come autumn winter then I have the other Kate Moss one that I think everyone has which is her 107 so that's it there absolutely love love this lipstick so long wearing so it's fairly similar to um, the rose gold one which is just above it um, I can't really see much of a difference but then there's probably a difference whenever it's on your lips but that's just me colour swatching it on my hand um, this one is slightly cheaper as far as I remember I think it's possibly a pound cheaper so if you're looking for a nice deep red lipstick um, with sort of a berry undertone I would definitely recommend this one then I have my four Macs these are the only four Macs that I own and I love them so Mac lipsticks are what 15 pounds 16 pounds something like that so that's um, I tend to go for more sort of high or high street um, lipsticks just because like the colors are constantly changing and I probably will invest in, in more MAC lipsticks along along the way but generally my collection is more high street so the first one is um, MAC Sin again I have really ruined my lipsticks so this is MAC Sin um, and it's it's got a more purpley undertone than the rest of them so that's the bottom one there um, MAC are a bit more expensive but it's for a reason because their their lipsticks are so good um, so if you're wanting to sort of invest in a more pricier lip, lipstick I would definitely look at MAC because they're not as, as expensive as, as other brands so can you tell them I'm liking the, the dark the dark lipsticks so that is MAC Sin then I have MAC Russian Red, so this is a matte range of theirs and it is like properly red, like full on red. Um, oh, I'm running out of hand space. So this one here is Russian Red by MAC um, and it is a matte one. So it'll generally be longer lasting than the other ones. Um, I haven't worn too much of this because it is so red but I absolutely love it when I do um, it's more I'd more wear if I was going out somewhere for the night because um, you obviously want to make a statement um, so a good way to do that is with a, a nice bold lip and I've just put lipstick all over my jeans okay the next one that I have is MAC Rebel and it is the purple one that they have. And this one's absolutely gorgeous. So, there we go. So this is MAC Rebel. And again, it is very much an autumn winter color. Um, again, sort of like the, the Russian red one. I haven't worn this too much just because it's purple. But I love it. Like, like how, you know, how could you not love it? It's purple. Um, so yeah, that is MAC Rebel. And the last one that I have is MAC Diva. So this is sort of a very autumnal red. You can see there. Um, I've run out of room on my hand. Go up here. So this is MAC Diva. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Very much a... Uh, an autumn winter colour. Um, it's more of a colour that you can wear during the day because even though it's dark it's not so in your face as like Rebel and Russian Red. So 
I would definitely, if you're looking for a more everyday red um, for autumn, winter, but you don't want to have like a bright red lip, um, I would pick up Diva. I think they're about 1550. I'll try and link them below if I can. Um, so that is everything. Um, just a nice quick video to show you my top 10 favourite lipsticks that I'm loving at the minute. So now I have to go and wash my hand because I'm literally getting lipstick everywhere. It's all my jeans and it's ruined my jeans. And I've only got, just got these jeans. So that is everything. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Bye.